Hello and welcome back to another episode of Snack Wars with me, your host, Jack May. Now, today we're not at Rush Green, we're not at the London Stadium. We've binned it off because love is in the air and we are here in Canary Wharf at Bella Cosa with Angelo Ogbonna, Aaron Cresswell and Alphonse Ariola for a Valentine's special Snack Wars sponsored by Leica Mobile. Guys, are you feeling romantic? What about you, Oggy? Are you, are you a romantic guy? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. What's the most romantic thing you've ever done? Cooking something for my wife. Cooking something, okay. okay. Never, that's never happened. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> happened. <laughs> happened. Let's talk about the experience then. Yeah. What, what did you cook? Uh, uh, chicken in the oven with the potatoes. Chicken what, sorry? Chicken in the oven. Oh, in the chicken oven. in the oven, yeah, right. In the oven with, the, uh, with potatoes. Okay. Basic, basic. Yeah. No, no, yeah. lasagna. Basic. Okay. Well, yeah. Lasagna as well? Lasagna as well. Are you, but are you just oh, getting it? at the same it? time. Yeah, he's getting it off the liver room and putting it in the yeah, oven. Yeah, of course, <laughs> yeah. of course. You have to prepare <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right, now you've each chosen a dish that you would cook for your loved ones on Valentine's Day, and we're going to try each course, and then we're going to rate them at the end. Now, how do you keep in contact with your loved ones when you're away? Do you, do you FaceTime them? Do you send them love letters? FaceTime. FaceTime? Yeah, I think it's the main thing. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, FaceTime, no, not, a, not, not letters. Not a love letter? No, no. I bet you've sent a love letter in your time. <laughs> Never. I maybe, I maybe, 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 I'll be good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Was fun with him. Okay. I would probably pick Flynn. Flynn, yeah. yeah Flynn. I'll play Flynn. I just got a soft spot for him. Yeah. yeah. Kind of guy. No offense to you, lads. You can come on the second day. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's jump straight into the first dish. Okay. Here we go. Time for dish one. Alphonse, you chose this. We are going to reveal it on three, two, one. This is a veal escalope milanese. Stupid question. Mm. What's in the that? Is that deer? That's Fonzie, isn't is it? Is, is it deer? <laughs> it's not deer. No, it's not no, deer. What it's is it? It's like the, um, how do you say that? The um, baby of the, the cow. <laughs> baby of the cow? <laughs> like, oh, lamb? No, not lamb. <laughs> lamb? Lamb. Oh, That's lamb. Not a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know why I've said that. What? It's like... <laughs> I was looking at what? I don't think anyone's clever enough in the room. Go on room. Google. Can we, can go we on cut? Google. No, keep that in. Yeah, That's yeah. got to stay in. I don't know what it is. Let's test no, it. Let's try it. Right. That is not my finest moment, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> So this is a veal escalope milanese, as these boys are eating, I'll explain to you what it is. It's a fried breaded veal cutlet or escalope, a typical recipe from the land called cotaletta alla milanese. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, very right. How was my pronunciation? Good? Yeah, very good. Can you give us a, tell us how to say it? <laughs> Italian beautiful accent. Yeah, cotaletta alla milanese. Oh, sure. Oh, it changes oh, everything. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same in a Norfolk accent, is it? <laughs> Can't let her a la Milanese. Not as sexy. So this is veal. It's nice. Really good. I don't mind it. Yeah. It's okay. Do you put the lemon on the thing? Lemon on the, on the Milanese, yeah. Mm -hmm. And how come you chose this? Is this your favourite? Yeah, easy to cook. Yeah. How long would this typically take to cook? Maybe half an hour. Half an hour, okay. Maybe. I like it. Guys, what are we thinking of it so far? Very good. Yeah. You've had a fair bit, to be fair, Aaron. I'm going for it. So I'm going to have to I can't cook this, so. Well, your dish is coming up, and we're yeah. gonna, that's going to become very clear, let me tell you. <laughs> Where is the best place to go on a date? It can be a specific restaurant, it can be a country. We'll start with you, Oggy. Positano. Where's I'm off. Wow. I don't even know where or what that is. Yeah, it's beautiful. Is it? Yeah, very it's beautiful. I suggest to everyone to go there. Yeah. yeah. South of Italy. Is it yeah, south of Italy. Italy yeah. Oh, okay. Nice bottle of wine, all yeah. of that stuff. <laughs> Are you a wine man? Yeah, really. Uh, red. Red or, red, or red. wine? Red. 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 None. No wine. Guys, are you ready to rate this dish? Yeah, in front of you, you've each got a card, and I want you to rate it. Don't let the other guys see what, you, what you're putting down. I want you to rate it from one to five. 
Five being the best, yeah. one being the worst. And remember, your dishes are coming up, so don't be too harsh. Me too. It's your dish, Alphonse. <laughs> okay, Oggy, please reveal your score. A three out of five. A bit harsh. Somewhere in the middle, not too good. What in the middle? What would, what would have to be done to make that a five? But no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay. It's Aaron, okay. what have you scored it, mate? But easy. Easy, yeah. Not as fancy. 4.5, we're moving in decimal points. Decimal right. points. I need to say anything, I bet it all. But he's starving. <coughs> and I'm hungry. <laughs> do, you not, do you not eat your greens? <sighs> not yet. There's so a lot, lot, lot more dishes coming. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alphonse, this was your dish. Can you reveal what have you scored it? Of course, it's a five for me. <laughs> Perfect five. A perfect five. So I give that, I think that's a 12.5 out of a possible 15 which is a very good start. Sir, if I had a hat on, I'd take it off for you. Thank you. That's good. But I don't. Thank you, guys. Let's move on to dish number two, which is Aaron's. And it's a weird one. Okay, we've had our first course. Now on to dish number two. This was picked by you, Cressy. Yep. Let's see what it is. One, two, three. Reveal. What have you done here then, Aaron? Talk us through it. It's beans on well, this toast, out. This is not how hard cook it. You know no, what I mean? I'd, I'd do it totally different. How? So <laughs> sorry. How different can you do beans? Because it's beans on toast, not beans on the side with toast not buttered. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you have so, to put your own beans on, all right? Exactly. Yeah. So it'd have to be butter the toast, mm. lay it down, whack the beans on top while it's still hot, and it just like makes the toast all uh, soggy. Do you know what I mean? I I'm struggling to no. believe that you cook this for your missus on Valentine's. Oh, no, I wouldn't, but. This is one of our favourite dishes. Lads, have you have you had Culture. beans on toast before? Yeah, exactly, Ange. I don't mind beans, but on toast I never tried. You've never tried? No. We're going to blow your mind today, mate. We're going <laughs> to yeah, blow your too. mind. Yeah, me too. Me too, never tried. Okay, the beans are looking a little bit dry, so let's not waste any time. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's jump, jump straight in, because they are drying up by the second. So, jump in. Um, also, no butter as well. What's the number? Can you, can you have this in um, the West Ham canteen? Yeah, Will they serve you this? Yeah, we're just talking about it. I think uh, Antonio has this all the time. Does he? So you can go in, you can have any type of eggs, whatever for your breakfast. Now, what do we think, Alphonse? Do you like it or not? You're yeah. just eating bread, aren't you? Have you had any beans yeah, on there? Yeah, yeah. You were, oh, there's a little bit of juice on there. That's a cultured way to do it. You know right. I, mean? I think but we need I mean, a VAR check on that. Hoggy, what do you think, mate? Beans on toast? Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be disrespectful, but I think you understand. Make, what do you make, understand? No, no, I understand, yeah. Make every morning like you used to like uh, uh, eat beans on toast, even before the, the match. I always look at him and say, what's this? I say, oh, beans on toast. I say, oh, okay, no problem. I respect, you know. Yeah. It's the way like he grew up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it's a different culture. It's, yeah. it's okay. Right. Guys, I think you've had enough. Aaron's eaten <laughs> so much. <laughs> Do they not feed you at the club, mate? Not to be here. Had to be. Had to rush. Okay, I think it's time to re to write your scores. Okay, Oggy. Okay. Don't even minus this. <laughs> I've got a feeling this is not going to be a good score. Oggy, okay, reveal your score, please. Just to support. Two. <laughs> You said you weren't going to be disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, it's you. It's you. Two. That's poor. Chris, <laughs> what, what you got, mate? I would have given it a five, but there was no button on it, so I'm going to go four. That is a, yeah, that is a bit of a letdown. Alphonse, can you claw back some points? Two as well. Two for me. I don't mind beans. No, that's not great. That yeah, you know what? No, no, my, wife, no, my wife, she loves it like this. <laughs> okay, two, four, two. That's eight out of 15. Not great for the beans on toast, but I respect the choice. Let's move on to our third and final dish chosen by Og Bonner. Okay, we've had the veal, we've had the beans on toast, and now it's time for the third and final dish. Angelo, you've chosen this one. Let's reveal it in three, two, one. Lobster linguine. Now, I'm gonna be very honest, guys. I cannot stand seafood. I can do like cod from the chippy, it's yeah. covered in batter. But I am like, I am clammy at the thought of this. <laughs> um, talk us through this, Angelo. Why have you chosen this? Because it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's beautiful food, seafood. It's, uh, it's amazing. Uh, depends, depends on the chef, mm. if you cook it well. 
So but I think it's the best. Can you can you cook this? No, Would you I rustle can't. this up at home? No, 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 I can't. I can't. But so, I would like to cook for my missus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Something I'm a little bit confused about. You know when you go into a restaurant, like a posh one, and there's lobsters swimming about in the tanks? Yeah. Why, do, why is that? Why do you have to choose them? In, like you've got to look them in the eye before you eat them. <laughs> no, no, just, just to show you like it's fresh. But you don't really know if it's fresh or not. No. <laughs> yeah, it could be there for two years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's not waste any time. Let's jump straight in to lobster linguine. Linguine pasta with lobster is a refined first course of Italian cuisine, mainly used for Christmas dinner, New Year's Eve, Ferragosto. Yeah. What's that? Christmas dinner. Ferragosto is uh, 15 August. It's a very important, uh, like, um, we call like uh, uh, the night of San Lorenzo, when the, when the star go I don't know, 12 star or something like that. It's right. like a good luck. Oh, wow. Know. Wow. We should bring that over here. You definitely said Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner, New Year's Eve, and Ferragosto. Surely you can have this on Christmas and you know? Yeah, you can have in this. Or lentils. Lentils, yeah. yeah. I could probably do lentils, to be honest with you. But this is, um, I mean, how you finding it, mate? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah I like it. <laughs> I've got the palate of a six-year-old. Cressy, what do you reckon? Like it. Really good. Good choice, man. Huh? Let's try the loves. <laughs> you tried it? <laughs> you haven't swallowed it, have you? No. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> to be fair, it's good. Mm. That's the best lobster I've ever had. <laughs> but also the worst. Caviar, that's another thing, isn't it? Seafood, caviar. Mm. It's a bit snooty though, isn't it, caviar? It's a bit high-end. Do, like, do you like that? Expensive. Mm. Not good. Is that a frog, frog eggs, is it, caviar? I don't know. I'm not 100%, but I'm, I'm certain it's not frog eggs. I don't know how I got this job. I don't know, there is no one on the planet who knows less about food than me. If it's not nuggets in a 20 share box, I'm not having it. Right, guys, I think it's time to rate the lobster linguine. Nee. Let's see what the scores are. Angelo? Five. We go five, just for, because confident. The perfect five. Cressy? Five. Oh. Five again. Is it going to be a full house? Ariola, what have you got for us, mate? 4.5. 4.5. Just because I'm not a big fan of linguine. I'll be honest, no, I no. didn't actually hate it. I didn't love it, but, but I didn't you, hate it. But you, you didn't even... Did <laughs> is that... What's that bit? <laughs> That's the laugh. That is, that is the laugh. <laughs> I am never going to live that down. <laughs> so there we go, the scores on the doors. In last place, beans on toast with eight, I think it got. In second place was the veal with a respectable 12 out of 15. But first place, Angelo Ogbonna, you picked it. It was the lobster linguine. Great shout from you. Yeah, thank you. No problem. Now, before we go, boys, as love is in the air, would you care to share? A love heart with me. You've got some there, Aaron. Share them out. Let me know what it says on your heart. Love Take hearts. a sweet. Never these, no? They've got a little note on, just for you, Alpha. Just for you. Oi. What does it say? You are loved. You are loved. You're loved by me and everyone else at West Ham. That's cute, isn't it? <laughs> these are these are these are big in England. There you go. Like okay. in the in, in the playground <laughs> when you fancied a girl and you wanted to ask her out, you give oh, her a little you sweet. Too. You're loved. <laughs> She'll come back. <laughs> You get something to you. Perfect. Oh, uh, there you go, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that seems sarcastic. <laughs> there you go. Dream big. Dream Thank big. You. One day, you might be as good as you. <laughs> Guys, this has been fun. Snack Wars Valentine's Edition, sponsored as always by Leica Mobile. <laughs> hey! I'm off for a baby cow. <laughs> <laughs>